I'm saying what I really think, and I think it really, really matters. And if I get fired for it, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to change. And the letter, if I can just summarize it for memory, was always stand tall, stay loyal, ah, which may be emotional reading it, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor. Stand tall, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor. And I thought to myself, if there is a phrase that sums up more perfectly what I want to be, what I aspire to be, and the kind of man I respect, I can't think of a phrase that sums it up more perfectly than that. And, and I thought, that came from Sonny Barger, the famous outlaw biker that every mom in my neighborhood was scared shitless of as a child. That, that's that's Sonny Barger's worldview? Why aren't we hearing that from the people who run the country? Why is it left to Sonny Barger to say, stand tall, stay loyal, remain free, and always value honor? The President of the United States should be saying that every single morning as he salutes the flag, but only Sonny Barger is saying it. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Just a quick note here about all of the dust-ups that have been going on. And I don't believe you all understand everything. I'm going to amalgamate every, all the information for you in this quick video. But before we get to that, I need the first thousand people who watch the video to click thumbs up or thumbs down. It doesn't mean you like me. doesn't mean you hate me. It actually doesn't mean anything. It just means that you're interacting with the video. And that's all that they care about. They're the advertisers care that you interact with the video. That's what this whole thing is about. Now, if you haven't haven't heard, Tucker Carlson of Fox News has been fired. They tried to say that Tucker and Fox News reached an agreement. No, he was fired. Now, there's three stories floating around, but I'm going to tell you the real the the one that's actually true. There's a story about a Jewish produce, tr producer who claims that uh, he, Tucker Carlson, created a hostile working environment for females. The problem with that entire story is twofold, and that he was anti-Semitic. The entire problem with that entire story, that entire scenario, is twofold. One, everybody who's met Tucker Carlson has said he's a choir boy. He's so nice. He goes out of his way to be nice. He's just just such a gentleman to his guests, to his employees, everything, right? And a lot of her statements, she she tried to extort Fox News herself and say, I have all of this these recordings uh, that she secretly recorded, which she's not supposed to do. Um, but, you know, right, like she recorded conversations that she was not in like she was spying on other people and recording them yeah and then she said uh he was anti-sabinic well it comes comes out that the anti the adl the anti-defamation league has been trying to get him fired from day one since he joined fox news from day one when she said that she was uh, when they tr when she tried to extort fox news Fox News told her to to go to have at it. Go ahead. I have all these recordings, and I'm gonna let them loose. I believe what happened was they heard the recordings, and her entire story is completely lo complete lunacy. Why is it complete lunacy? Because first of all, it has nothing to do with Car Tucker Carlson, and it's it's all not even hypersensitive. It's all completely misinterpreted to to whatever she's thinking that it is uh, they she said that they have a picture of nance of uh pelosi in a bikini well it's pelosi walking on a beach and it's just so disgusting it's pelosi walking on a beach where's the problem with it and it's not tucker colson who had the pictures it's somebody else who had the picture so tucker colson didn't create anything uh, as to the anti-Semitic stuff, I, I didn't hear anything. She didn't present that. She just said he's anti-Semitic. Okay. But anyway, she su she's suing Tucker and Fox. And Fox, when they fired Tucker, completely indemnified him. In the paperwork to let him go, they literally wrote in there that he is completely not liable for anything 
that is about to happen with Fox. Okay, so that alone should clue you in that it had nothing to do with her. Uh, the ADL trying to claim that they had something to do with it is completely false. Here's the real reason. Tucker Carlson has completely uh, had lost advertisers. Uh, and I want to say the same thing with YouTube. It can't be that Tucker Carlson lost advertisers on Fox News. You would think if you're an advertiser and you are of the mind that you're going to advertise on Fox News, that you're a special kind of type of beast, that you're going to advertise on Fox News, right? Stands to reason. But they said, okay, all of the, he lost all of his advertisements. Okay, so what? The real reason is that it's not Rupert Murdoch. I believe it's something like three companies that actually own almost like everything. Kind of like Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, what's his name? Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett owns a lot of stock in a lot of companies. And a lot of times, all he does is buy more stock as he goes on. So yes, he's a billionaire, but most of it is in He's, he's a billionaire on paper, right? And he buys stuff that he knows is going to win. I said that to say, I think it's something like three companies that own everything. And you all just don't know it. You know how they say, oh, is General Mills owns, uh, G General Mills, Kellogg's, and what is it? Miss Nabisco owns almost everything in the food industry, right? Well, I'm talking about companies that own General Mills, Nabisco, and Kellogg. You get these little infographic pictures of, oh, these are the three companies that own TV. No, there's a, there's a company that's above that. A General Electric owns this. No, there's a company above that. And you just don't know it. One of the names I'm going to throw out, of course, when I come to the name, I'm going to forget it. BlackRock. And BlackRock actually solidified more of their position in Fox after Tuck Tucker was fired. Hold, hold on, hold on. The information that they fired Tucker dropped the stock value of Fox News by something ridiculous like 25%. It, it literally was like a, like a cliff. That happens, and what happened? BlackRock bought more stock in Fox News. So the stock price dropped, BlackRock bought more. What else does BlackRock own? I, I said it's something like three country companies. Uh, I believe they own some, uh, Boeing, uh, uh, some, uh, a few of those companies, right? A few of those, a few of those military industrial complex. You know where I'm going with this? Please say that you know where I'm going with because YouTube is sitting on the edge of their seat, uh, right on the with their finger right hovering right above the ban button right about now. They own the military industrial complex in the United States. And the real reason that Tucker was fired is because Tucker is the only person on mainstream media. Tucker's the only person in mainstream media that talks about not going to war. The entire mainstream media, that, that includes Fox, the entire mainstream media is pro-war. So of all, so are all of their advertisers. Now I just said, if you're an advertiser on Fox, you are of a certain type of characteristics. Well, here's here's the deal: Fox can pick and choose who they give their contracts to. Yes, they like money, but they also have their own agenda. This is how the TV business is run now. It's more agenda driven than it is business driven. All it would take would be one company to come along and say, you know what? We are money driven. All of you people who run around talking about you hate capitalism, capitalism is your best friend. All it would take would be one company in any of the markets. All it would take would be one company to say, we are money driven. What does that mean? That means that we hire the best people based on merit that can generate the most money. What would that do, Shikama, you ask? That means 
when it comes to advertisers, the advertisers cannot dictate anything. The advertisers simply have to pay up for the demographic that they're delivering. You don't fire the number one guy in all of TV. The number he had to, he had to, he, he, he was the number one guy in all of TV, hands down. And guess what? Dan Bongino, the black guy, it was funny. Uh, somebody was uh, complimenting uh, the uh, black woman who does the morning shows. Uh, I believe it's called Outnumbered. I don't actually own a TV. Outnumbered, and it's four women and one guy. And the one guy is the guest, and the four women are the hosts. And they have the. They were complimenting the black woman. I believe she had. She got her own show on Fox. And somebody on Twitter said, Oh, it's so fantastic to see black representation. Well, J Dan Bongino piped up and said, w What are you talking about? I'm black. Uh, but of course, that went nowhere because nobody wants to recognize him as black. Whenever they got a, a narrative, they just go with their narrative. They don't actually care about the truth. They don't care about facts, right? So, Tucker Carlson, number one in all of evening tv delivering you four to five million viewers every night of the weekdays right every weeknight on the weekend dan bongino number one weekend they fired him and then they fired tucker carlson but wait there's more you heard they fired don lemon and the reason they fired don lemon was don lemon had the indian from india presidential Republican presidential candidate, which is very, how do you say, very liberal in his outlook. Of course, that's why they're going to have him on CNN. And Don Lemon, of all people, kept trying to pull the race card on him and telling him that he can't speak about black people, that he can't mention black people. He can't talk and say anything about black people. And how dare he even mention it in front of him because Don Lemon is super duper black. Don Lemon is not super duper black. Don Lemon is black in skin tone only, genetically only. There is nothing else that he, he actually shares with the black community. And I can say this because he used to say things a long, long, long time ago. He used to say stuff that was truthful. But when he got $30 million a year, he ceased to say anything like that. And his lifestyle completely changed around and all of that sort of stuff, right? So he was fired because of that interview. And it was very awkward for the white female host to be sitting next to him while he's saying, you can't talk about black people and you have no right to talk about black people. And uh, you, how dare you talk about black people? Oh, okay, all right. But... Don Lemon was going to be fired anyway. They had already, I believe Alex Jones predicted John, Don Lemon was going to be fired because Don Lemon had already ruffled some feathers over nothing, over stuff that he shouldn't have even been talking about. I guess Don Lemon was tired of being Don Lemon on CNN. And I mean that in all of the euphemistic way that that actually means. But that's not the only people who have been fired. Uh, Bud Light. Let's get to Bud Light. Bud Light, the vice president of advertisement for Bud Light uh, took a leave of absence. I told you that the last time that we spoke. Also, her boss, the president of Bud Light Advertising, took a leave of absence. Also, I, b I believe he's an accountant. It's somebody in the back room. Somebody in the back room. Uh, also, now, a lot of people are trying to tell the story that the people the VP of Everett of Marketing and the President of Marketing for Bud Light took leaves of absence. No, the Wall Street Journal is telling it correctly. They were put on leave. But there was also a, a third person. And they keep saying five. they lost five billion. They're, they're, they're bleeding out a billion dollars a day. And uh, as of when I looked at it, it was uh, down by eight billion. Uh, Fox News lost a billion dollars immediately from firing... Uh, Dan Bongino and Tucker Carlson. But on the Bud Light front, they fired a, like, an, like an accountant. I was like, what? What is going on? 
<laughs> so, so I think they're, uh, uh, I, I, I saw a report of a guy in uh, New Jersey and he said it's the most, it is literally the most democratic place in New Jersey you could possibly ever. Bud Light is down 60%. Bud Light is, or uh, Anheuser Bush or InBev is talking about they are down something like 6%. I don't know what that translates to. And I don't know what metrics that they're looking at. I don't believe that they're looking at Bud Light. I don't believe that they're looking at Anheuser Busch. I don't look that they're looking at Corona. Uh, I, I don't look uh, believe they're looking at Budweiser. I think they're looking at something far, far, much further up the food chain. So I, I don't know uh, if, but that's not all. So Maybelline, uh, Mac makeup, uh, Nike, uh, tampon. Uh, are, are all now about to suffer a huge backlash as well. But they said, we trust that women won't follow through with their boycott because women, this is coming from a woman. This is not coming from Shikama. Women don't pay attention. Women get distracted. Women are emotional. These are, this is all coming from women. These are all come from women in the media, media experts, M women talking about women and they have a position that just in the media that they, they, they don't trust that the women will follow through with the boycotts of Maybelline, Mac makeup, uh, tamp, tamp, tampon, tamp, tampax, uh, Nike, uh, what else? Uh, but I, I guess the word is actually, the word is getting out, right? Uh, the, some men who have Nike stuff, buy Nike stuff are saying that they're going to boycott Nike too. That is yet to be seen. I don't have, I don't see any reports on that. But the big deal was that Tucker Carlson was the only person talking about not going to war when the position of the company is to go to war. They are making billions of dollars in Washington, DC. They are making billions of dollars in Washington, DC. If you see Alexandria o o or Connor O'Connor Cortez, uh, I just made her Irish or Scottish or Irish. W what is her name? Uh, and why, why does she have three names? Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. If you see her driving a Bugatti, you will, you will know what's up. And I trust that if she had it, she'd buy a Bugatti. I, I would totally trust that that's how that would play out. But she wants to uh, pretend that uh, she's so down with the cause, down with the resistance. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.